Greeting from CG Boss. Have you ever had trouble baking texture and having trouble importing game assets from Blender to Unreal Engine? Then you have come to the right place guys. So at the end of this video, I have some super duper secret to help you. Those help me a lot and I am excited to share them with you. So I hope you guys are all well. This is Sabir. I am a full-time 3D artist and I do video about 3D modeling, 3D animation, creativity, VFX, etc. Subscribe and hit the bell to receive all the updates. I am so excited and happy because I recently made a game asset for Unreal Engine. But uh, although uh, this is not my first game asset, I have created many more game assets in the past. I will show them another day. Okay, so guys, don't worry. The model I will show you today is a 10. Today I will show you how to import game asset from Blender to Unreal Engine. Okay, guys. So although it sounds easy, but in reality, sending game asset from Blender to Unreal Engine somewhat complicated. I want to say an important thing, and this is the difference between a typical 3d model and a game as a 3d model normal 3d model like uh, normal 3d model usually have no obligation such as unlimited poly count or even if there are multiple material slot there is no problem at all but game asset have to be optimized mind it guys such as the material slot must be one the lower the poly count the better for optimizing purposes so mind it okay guys so let's take a look at my model 10 from start to finish how many steps and how many uh, chains have gone through it okay so let's see to take the help of four software to do this project for example blender photoshop unreal engine and marvelous designer okay although i will not show uh, everything such as i will not show how i made the tent but i will explain how i made it okay otherwise the video length will be huge so i don't want it so guys uh, right now my main topics are one texture baking and combine multiple texture into one in blender two and then export the game asset from blender to unreal engine three i also show you guys how to import game asset into unreal engine and some tweaking for better result in unreal engine so let's get started i am in marvelous designer now at first i thought i would make the tent in marvelous designer then i designed the tent with blender okay as the result in marvelous designer was not as expected okay so but i designed the tent curtain with marvelous designer right 
which you will see a little later. So let's see what's going on here. There is a problem going on here. There is a very big problem going on. So So did you see the end frame which here you can see a white tent frame which I model in uh, blender then I import in uh, marvelous designer so I think I don't like this model okay guys I am in blender now then as a second attempt here we can see I modeled that and a little more gorgeously okay so let's see so as a result the poly number increase a lot so here we can see the statistic here you can see uh, the poly number here you can see the poly number did you see that so which is not a good sign for game asset okay however if we look at pom pom i mean this thing if you look at those pom pom here you can see uh, there are total eight pom poms and here you can see the feather if you go to render view then we can see the, the beautiful uh, feather okay so we can see that the density of poly number is much higher in those uh, object here you can see so much density okay same here same here in those things okay here you can see and the density of the pulling number in the netting thing above the tent is also much higher i'm talking about those netting design okay all you have to do is reduce the poly number of this model and make it suitable for game engine okay guys so and there are many ways to do this such as one changing the design of the tent two baking texture from high poly object to low poly object three deleting unnecessary object four using a special modifier reducing vertices number the name of that modifier is decimate etc so guys i will uh, apply several of these ways to this model now we will see how we have modeled the various object of this stand okay as i said before the curtain was designed with marble as designer okay so here you can see gorgeous curtain i use physics simulation like cloth simulation while uh, designing it okay then i design uh, the braid okay so let's see here you can see the braid i design this braid with different modifiers like uh, in blender like array 
curb, mirror, empty, etc. Okay, then the modeling of uh, pom pom, those those pom pom, uh, those pom pom, and feather. Here you can see uh, the feather. So let's see the feather. Feather and the pom pom uh, modeling process are the same. Okay. In this case, I used curb particle system, solidify modifier, etc. So here you can see a rendered view. Uh, so let's see the rendered view of feather. while designing the netting thing i mean this this net thing net so while i design uh, the netting thing at the top of the ten i took the help of several modifier likes array lattice curve mirror solidify etc moreover uh, the rest of the object are very simple i hope there is no need to explain our uh, other object okay guys again i'm in blender now okay right now again i change the tan design now it's look cool minimal and smart so here you can see uh, uh, this time uh, the tan is inspired by pearl ornaments and colored precious stones uh, there are some metallic object like crown there are heart shape uh, there are uh, key shapes those are metallic object so here you can see a rendered view there are star shape and crescent moon shape uh, which are emitting light here you can see star heart uh, and this crescent moon shape are emitting light however the design look very good right now uh, instead instead of particle system we have used rendered transparent high resolution image here you can see this time this is those are the pngs image okay so in this case i use an add-on so if you go to the preference and add-on and if you search image add, sorry image here you can see just just enable this and say preference and if you press shift a then if you go to image here you can see image as a plan so i think you got the idea and i have used low poly uv shape in pom pom here you can see right now if you if you take a closer look those pom pom here you can see actually those are low poly okay now let's see the poly number right now here you can see 14,000 okay and uh, 598 so it's not a um, very big amount of vertices okay So I think you got the idea. So now we are going to see the UV. Guys, I made a box for your better understanding. The model we need to transform into a game asset need to be UV unwrapped. 
ओके द बॉक्स हैज सिक्स फेज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स नंबर आर रिटर्न ऑन सिक्स फेज नाउ यू कैन सी मैक्सिमम टू और थ्री नंबर टूगेदर टू सी ऑल द नंबर टूगेदर ऑल यू हैव टू डो इज आई एम मेकिंग इन अ पोएट नाउ यू कैन सी ऑल द नंबर एट वंस ब्लेंडर यू पी एन रेप वर्क दिस वे ओके सो आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टैंड राइट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी यू पी एन रेप ओके we can see that all the object have different uv map so here you can see right now my objects are separated here you can see uh i can easily select different object and here you can see different object has different uv map do you see that different already i prepared i mean already i mark same all the object here right now all we have to do is different uv map or different texture to be inserted inside a uv map which will contain all the texture uh so uh, right now here we can see uh, these uh, uh tent base shape uh, uh, having uh, two material slot and if you see uh, star uh, there are there is an, uh, another material slot here you can see another material slot um, i mean there are individual object sharing individual uv map okay uh, right now we put together everything in one uv map okay so here you can see if you select any object in uh, 3d space uh, after that if you go to uh, this object data properties then we have to go to uv map here you can see each and every object uh, ha having this kind of uh you can see uh this kind of uv map okay so all you have to do is um, uh, just create another one okay and name it just stand and same here after that we just select this one right now we are going to shader editor okay guys one thing we need to keep in mind when the baking texture is that the texture map will stick directly with the uh, principal shader here we go to import game asset from blender to unreal engine all type of texture maps can be attached and imported or can be added later so now we will see usually when baking texture with default bake option in blender we see the problems that will occur let's see here you can see uh, if you see this node editor right now if i see select this uh, carpet if we add node wrang uh, wrangler and just control t so it's not working so we are going to the preference and search node wrangler and node arrange and save preference and if you right now press control t here you can see um, texture coordinate and mapping 
but if your intention is uh, import game asset from blender to unreal engine then this kind of procedural node in uh, working at all okay so keep in mind that just uh, delete right now and so in, in order to set up baking here you can see when UV editor and here you can see uh, shader editor and here you can see a 3d viewport okay so all you have to do is uh, we have to make a new image here you can see if you create an image like um, guys right now we are going to create a 4k image here you can see uh, my resolution this is a 4k and we have to enable alpha if you remove this tick mark then we are going to miss alpha channel okay so we are enable it and just okay here you can see our image okay so what do you know uh, different UV map here you can see different UV map uh, like uh, like if we here you can see different UV map uh, uh, or different texture to be inserted uh, inside a UV map just this UV map untitled okay uh, so which will contain all the texture here so in order to UV unwrap we have to mark sim here we can see I already mark sim here you can see and if you take a closer look and here you can see sim in order to understanding this uh, topic you have to be uh, intermediate or advanced level user of blender okay so keep it mind this is not a beginner tutorial I hope you uh, know little bit about mark sim and UV editing we are going to see the blender default backing option okay guys right now we will see called uh, blender back option okay so here we can see have a look our pom pom materials node okay so here we can see this uh, material having a color node diffuse node or albedo in uh, game engine whatever and here you can see a roughness map here you can see a normal map okay and uh, we have uh, emitting uh, material node here you can see uh, so uh, all you have to do is we have to create an image like like this we're go going for a 4k image okay so copy and paste and create okay so so already i created an uh, image file uh, it's called color okay so just think about this is our 4k image okay and all we have to do is here you can see there are uh, so many different objects okay here you can see so all we have to do is just uh, like uh, just go and select this and uh, add a image map image texture okay image texture and just and just select color okay and all you have to do is and it is really important we have to select this color okay and we just control c copy and just paste here you can see each and every um, object having this 
uh, color texture map okay and it's selected and highlighted highlighted here you can see each and every object have same setup here you can see and each and every object uh, have uh, two UV and we have to select this okay and uh, we are going to cycle mode okay uh, because bag option only work in cycle here you can see we are going to uh, we, we need alpha channel here you can see PC those are uh, PNG image so we need a transmission then if you don't unselect this then it's capture a blender viewport lighting setup okay so we don't want that okay we just need color okay uh, so after that uh, image margin is really important we are going to put free on it and after that we are, we set up the clear image okay so right now just hit the bake and already I bake uh, all the images uh, after transmission we need blue C and bake and after that we need emission and click the back uh, we need roughness click back uh, we need normal and click back when the baking is done then we are find an image like this and just save it all you have to do is just image and save as okay so if you uh, if you didn't save it then you are gonna just lost this image okay so right now here you can see we got all the images we need okay image structure we need right now we are going to export okay in order to export this uh, all you have to do is uh, just uh, just select everything and press ctrl j now this is an this is just only one object and go to material slot delete all material okay here you can see already it's a big object i mean right now it's join and it's only one object okay uh, right now all you have to do is delete uh, other unnecessary material slot because we don't need them because we have bad teammates okay just just remove everything and after that go to shadow editor and uh, create a new material and and we are going to import our back team is okay so we saved uh, those images uh, earlier okay so here you can see alpha color emission normal roughness so let's see what's going on uh, we just plug color in base color alpha going to alpha then roughness going to 
roughness emission going to emission metallic going to metallic normal going to close to normal so we need there you can see color but there is no normal color option so we have to add a normal match and just plug it in here and normal goes to normal Here you can see right now I have just only one material slot and here is the one material slot setup here you can see there is a color metallic roughness emissions alpha and normal so right now we have a low poly model and a one material slot okay it's now optimized so in order to export a bx format we we have to select this and go for export fbx if you want to keep your material in into your model then you have to all you have to do is just copy in order to show you guys i want to set the path mode to copy and just embedded texture but i think it's not gonna be work so anyway and we, we just need mesh only selected object transform uh, all right geometry we have to select phase okay after that we don't need uh, there is no animation so i uncheck this back animation and hit export fbx okay we are now importing our model in unreal engine to see if there is any problems or not so let's see uh, as you can see i already import our fbx file uh, in unreal engine our model looked as beautiful in blender but not in the unreal engine okay uh, there are conflict between blender and unreal engine where there is a need for glows there is no glows at all Again, where there is a need to be roughness high, there is no roughness at all. Everything has become uh, random, okay? So the thing that has happened here is that the gloss or metallic of the blender and the metallic of the Unreal Engine have conflicted. So we have to solve this, okay guys? To solve this problem we need to go back to blender and uh, we have to rebake in a special process okay so let's get uh, start backing now okay keep in mind that each and every object and their material slot previously we created a color map a color texture map here you can see this is selected and highlighted if you go another another object here you can see same here selected and highlighted selected highlighted selected highlighted selected highlighted same here each and every object okay so it's really important guys uh, one important thing i forgot to say when i was backing uh, earlier is that we have to select all the object in the viewport before we can uh, bake okay so we have to select everything and 
and one important thing is we have to find the metallic part here you can see those part are metallic and this part also met, uh, metallic so we just select a material metallic parts and go to shader editor and crank down the metallic part again go for another metallic part and crank down the metallic okay and here you can see another metallic part just crank down the metallic part i think we are done yes so all you have to do is select everything and go to render properties and point to be noted that you have to select this UV map okay this is to this uh, anyway uh, we are going to render properties and select cycle uh, render engine and then uh, we have find back option okay so first thing first we need uh, diffuse and just hit back and the back result will be appear here here after that just save as image okay and same here normal normal and hit the big after uh, normal map appear here and save as image if you need mvn occlusion here you can see so i i don't need this so i skip it so right now we need emit hit the back and emit map will be appear here and same process just save it after after that we need a roughness map hit the back and same process and now is the most trickiest part is metallic guys all material that are not have metallic roughness must be zero and all material that are metallic roughness must be one so mind it guys here you can see there is no metallic option so we will make metallic map from roughness okay so i said earlier that material that's not metallic roughness must be zero so let's see so this uh this and these those things are not metallic part so all you have to do is select a, an object and go to roughness and crank down the roughness to zero same here roughness zero roughness zero roughness roughness zero roughness zero and same things okay so and the second thing is metallic part must have roughness is one so here you can see the, uh, those are metallic parts so roughness must be one and here you can see another metallic part and these also uh, roughness must be one okay and another object are these uh, string type of things 
these also uh, metallic parts so all you have to do is roughness crank up just all the way one so and hit the back that's it and same here just save your image all right we will now export the fbx file from blender to unreal engine and before that we have to do something we have all the texture map except the transparent one okay we have color texture map we have emissions texture map we have metallic we have normal we have roughness but we don't have a transparent one for the uh, feathers and leaves okay we will now combine color and transparency to make it easier to work on unreal engine we will bind together two maps with the help of photoshop and we will export it in tga format okay so now we are going to photoshop okay and open the color image here you can see our color or diffuse or albedo whatever it is just open it in photoshop create a layer drag it down select solid color and that is black and go to select color range and that's it and go to select and marks just invert and output to selection and okay here you can see now we find our selection uh, right now just isolate layer visibility go to the channel uh, and open and create a alpha layer and just select this and go for brush press b for brush and the size all right pick the white color and just brush it and just paint over it here you can see we have now alpha image okay right now just uh, select color image and uncheck alpha and now we have to export it in tga format here you can see targa or tga so here you can see i already create one so just uh, rename it color and alpha right now here you can see we have color and alpha uh, in one image map uh, and we have emit metal normal roughness and transparent now all we have to do is uh, just open unreal engine and go for just drag and drop import and wait here you can see right now i want to delete all the material uh, 
and we have a collection of texture right now insert color and alpha then emit then metal then normal then roughness i don't need transparent Al already we have bind together to map color and alpha so everything's all right so we are open materials lord just delete those and just drag it here now we are set up everything so here you can see our base color goes to base color and we have a normal normal go to normal emission go to emissive color i think this is metallic so metallic goes to metallic and this is roughness i think roughness go to roughness and so let's see apply and save minimize this and here you can see our model right now very beautiful look good it's gorgeous right now but we have a issue right now transparency issue here you can see so we have to fix this in order to fix this we have to go to material select this and go for mask and we know that we bind together color and alpha so in this case there are also a alpha node which we which we connect into the opacity marks so apply and save minimize this window here you can see tara right now we have we have a issue here you can see um, feather are disappearing and right now we can see leaf disappearing so we have to solve this issue so we have uh, we want to go to we go to again material slot and just select this and go material slot and just click two sided and again apply and save so let's see right now it's cool everything's all right so metallic is all right mission all right everything's all right so let's see i can't i can i go i can go inside so 
what can we do let's see again just drag it and just select static mesh and here you can see in right side here is a collision so we just select collision complexity project default to use complex collision as simple sorry simple and save it and minimize this window uh, so here so let's see right now i am easily go inside this stand now it's cool it's it's nice i think right now this is ready for roll it's cool it's gorgeous it's awesome so take a closer look our model is just perfect right now optimize look good optimize and perfect okay so last thing last is guys thanks to everyone for patiently watching the video till the end i hope i have been able to benefit you see you in another video take care